What's up guys, my name is Ethan and I've had the pleasure of owning this Starboard All-Star Race Inflatable Paddle Board for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. So let's dive into what my thoughts are about this board. So I really love the overall style and design of this race inflatable paddle board that Starboard has created here. You can tell they put a lot of time and effort into creating the highest quality stand-up inflatable race board that they could possible. And that really comes out into quality of this board. Starting off from the front of the board, we have our nose cone here that they designed. And I really love this as it really makes a huge difference when you're paddling into any kind of chop on the water. As it cuts through that so much easier, it pushes the water around the board and around that cone to give you better glide and faster speed as well. Then make our way further back down the board, we come to our bungee straps. And I have found these to be incredibly useful for just my everyday use. Either just putting my sandals into the straps here to hold them when I go through a paddle, or putting a day bag into. It's incredibly useful to have. And what's crazy is I know a lot of hard race boards don't come with the bungee straps. But by having these bungee straps on this inflatable board, I find them incredibly useful for so many different usage. Next up we have our carry handles here that they designed on the board. They have one here in the center of the board to carry it on your side. They also have two up front to use for either beach starts for races or for even just helping you carry your board out of the water with a bunch of gear on the front of it. So this brings us to our side rails that Starboard has designed on the side of this race inflatable paddle board. And I love just how convenient they are to use. I love how I push my feet against it. I get so much more stability in that side to side chop. And so for an overall feature for an inflatable paddle board, this is an incredible design to have on your board. All right, so now moving towards the back end of the board for you to come to our kick pad. And this is incredibly useful to have for any kind of pivot turning you're doing or riding any kind of surf, as it just acts as another great point for your foot to press against and be more stable and just have a reference point to know where your foot is at without having to look. All right, so moving to the bottom side of this board, we take a look at our race fin that comes with your board when you purchase it. It's a 23 inch race fin that acts as a great fin to use for extra stability in the water for side to side, and also helps you track really straight when you're paddling for longer distances. The big cons with that is it is harder to do buoy turns or any kind of pivot turning as it is a larger fin. So if you're using it in shorter races, such as technical races, um, I recommend you change this fin out for something a little bit smaller to help you get around and be more agile in the water. But if you're going for longer distance paddles, it's still a great fin to use for those longer distance races. This does bring me to one negative I do have against this board, as the stringer that which runs down the center line of this board to give you more rigidity comes back to below this fin box. And so the extra cable actually sits below this fin box area. And so when you're trying to install your fin, it's actually quite difficult to get your, your fin back in there and try to get your, your anchor point in there for the screw while trying to push that rope down and get it all situated. It's just not very convenient to do. And so for myself, I personally try to leave this fin in at all times and just avoid having to change it out very often because of that situation. But if you're having to deflate your board every time you use it and having to reinflate it and having to reinstall this fin every time, it can be very inconvenient to use. So that's just something to note and something myself that I have found inconvenient about this paddle board. On the very back of the board, we do have a water release rail and this just helps release that water as it exits off the back of the board to release more easily and more smoothly and continue to help you have speed and better glide as you're paddling on the water. So lastly, as I talked about earlier, we do have that stringer which runs from the fin box all the way to the nose cone, and this does help to stiffen the board quite a bit. I do notice a difference in using other inflatable paddle boards in comparison to use, using this board with the stringer, as this does give it more rigidity up and down when you're going through any kind of chop in the water. So great design and feature of this paddle board. So overall, I really do love using this board and I do highly recommend it. It's fast for being an inflatable board, it's still super stiff and it's just super convenient to use. Now the reason I purchased this inflatable version of the race board is for that convenient side of being able to travel with it more easily to other races. As many of you probably know, it's very difficult to travel with a hard 14 foot race board, especially on airplanes. And for myself, when I travel, I do fly more often. So being able to pack this up into a bag and travel with it more easily, it was a huge pro for me to be able to use. And overall, this board just made that side of life so much easier. Now I definitely recommend this board only for the intermediate to more of the advanced rider. This is not a board for beginners as it is more narrow so you do get a little more unstability side to side. But if you're someone who has spent some time paddling on paddle boards and you're ready to improve your game or get more involved in races and have a better board for that, this is the board for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short review and my thoughts on this board. If you did, be sure to check out my channel for more content. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hasta luego amigos.